Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about view serializability. Right. First of all, we will study about view equivalence. What is view equivalence? Two schedules, S1 and S2, are said to be view equivalent if the these three conditions hold. Right. If these three conditions are satisfied. Now, the first condition is the same set of transactions participate in Schedule S1 and Schedule S2 and S1 and S2 include the same operations of these transactions, right? Second condition is For any read X operation of transaction TI in Schedule S1, if the value of X read by operation has been written by an operation write X of transaction TJ, or if it is the original value of X before Schedule started, the same condition must hold for the value of x read by operation read x of transaction ti in schedule s2 right and now the third condition is if the operation write y of transaction tk is the last operation to write item y in schedule s1 then write y operation of transaction tk must also be the last operation to write item y in schedule s2 right now if uh, these three conditions are satisfied then the two schedules s1 and s2 are said to be view equivalent right a schedule s is a said to be view serializable if it is view equivalent to a serial schedule right it will be more clear after this example now see these two schedules right we have to check whether these uh, two schedules are view equivalent or not. Now, see in this schedule, transaction T1 reads the value of item X the original value of X of the database which was there before the schedule started right in this schedule also transaction t1 reads the value of x which was before the schedule started right which was the value of x in the database before the schedule started right now see here In this schedule, transaction T2 reads the value of X which is written by the transaction T1. Here also, transaction T2 reads the value of X which is written by transaction T1. Right? In this schedule, Transaction T1 reads the value of Y which was in the database before the schedule started, which is the original value of Y, right? In this schedule also, transaction T1 reads the value of Y which was in the database before the schedule started, right? Now,
in this schedule this right operation of transaction t2 is the last operation which writes the value of x right in this schedule also right operation of transaction t2 is the last operation to write the value of x right it is the last operation which writes the value of x right in this schedule c and in this schedule also c this right operation of transaction t1 is the last operation which writes the value of y in this schedule right and in this schedule also see this operation of transaction t1 right this uh, right operation of transaction t1 is the last operation which writes the value of y right it is the last operation of a uh, which writes the value of y and it is of transaction t1 right now see here all three conditions of view equivalence have been satisfied now see here these two schedules are view equivalent because all the three conditions of view equivalence have been satisfied now see now see this uh, schedule is view equivalent to this serial schedule therefore this schedule is view serializable now see these two schedules right in this schedule this read operation of transaction t1 reads the value of uh, x which was in the database before the schedule started right here also the read operation this read operation of transaction t1 reads uh, that value of x which was in the database before the schedule started right now see this read operation of transaction t2 in this schedule this read operation of a transaction t2 in this schedule read that value of x which has been written by transaction t1 of this schedule right but in this schedule see this read operation of transaction t2 right transaction t2 in this schedule reads that value of x which was in the database before the schedule started right it does not read that value of x which is written by transaction t1 right this read operation of transaction t2 does not read that value of x which is written by transaction t1 right so here the second condition of a view equivalence has not been satisfied therefore these two schedules are not view equivalent to each other